What's up, insiders? Today, we're going to be going over the Asylum Mods Hilo 30mm RTA. So, deuces, is this one worth the price of admission? Because it's a little bit on the pricey side. Make sure you watch the whole video to find out. Check that out, man. Look at that. Let me turn it around so you can see it. Here it is in big boy mode. Kind of cool, right? Here it is in shorty mode. The nice thing about this is all you have to do is put the top cap and the base on. No reason to pop this off and just switch glasses because it has a different chimney. See, this is the shorty chimney. So that's kind of cool. Check out the machining on it, man. The machining on it is absolutely gorgeous. Top notch throughout the whole RTA. You also get an Ultim AFC ring, a metal drip tip, and a spare parts bag. Here it is in big boy mode. You can see I got the Ultim drip tip installed. Nice millwork over here, man. I mean, this is just absolutely beautiful. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. It's not like knurling, but definitely enough to give you a nice grip so you can twist off that top cap. Check it out, man. The machining on it is basically as good as it gets. Ultim drip tip is very, very snug and tough to get a hold of. Got to have like girly nails to get them under there and get that drip tip out. All right, it is a goon style drip tip, but it's a little different. It has like that, I don't know, that conical, that almost cone-like shape to it. It's actually very comfortable. I would have rathered a regular goon, but I see they were going for something different. If you really want to match things up, you can use the metal drip tip, just like that, right? Pop it in there. The metal drip tip's not as tight as the Ultim drip tip, but it still is in there pretty nicely. I mean, look at this top cap. I mean, it's just gorgeous. The machining is just phenomenal. Just look at those threads. They are just buttery smooth. Really nice job on the top cap. Nice big fill ports that will accommodate almost any type of bottle. Big chimney over here, just as you'd expect on a 30 millimeter RTA. You got a recession going on over here, just in case you overfill. You're not gonna make a mess. I like that, that's nice. Again, the machining and the threading on this is just buttery smooth. On the bottom, we have your airflow control right here. It's a little bit on the loose side with the metal ring. When you put the Ultim ring on there, it tightens up a little bit, but it's got stoppers on both ends. Whatever you adjust on one side, of course, happens on the other side. On the bottom of the atomizer, you can see it says Hilo. You got a serial number, gold-plated 510 connection, insulator ring around that, stainless steel threading around that that is also buttery smooth in order to access the deck simply give it a twist like you do on every other rta and boom out comes your deck now let's take this thing apart and break it down so i can show you this is the ultim section right here a lot of people are not going to like the ultim section i know a lot of people don't like the color i don't mind it you know as long as i can see my juice level through it i'm fine with it but i know people are definitely not going to like that here is the chimney section right here from the outside you can see it's got a nice conical shape to it look at the interior right there you can see that conical design very very nice now one thing i wanted to point out is that in shorty mode you lose that conical design see the difference see how this one is kind of cone shaped and this one is not it's very very flat now, a lot of people are going to tell you, yeah, but, you know, in shorty mode, your mouth is cl closer to the coil. You don't need to have that conical design. And I would agree with that. And I would say it's still more flavorful in shorty mode than it is in big mode. Check this deck out. Now, this deck is kind of weird, right? Because check it out. You got these big post holes right here, but you do have to share lead space, right? And then you got this, like, triangle type of airflow bottom airflow comes in through there and then up through there and then here are your wicking slots right here but those post holes look really really wide right and it's kind of deceptive because if you look they kind of like angle in do you see how they angle in like that so they're really not as wide as they look regular coils will do fine in here you know regular type of you know fused claptons and aliens they'll do fine in here when I first saw it, I was like, man, I'm going to have to add wraps. But no, you don't have to because it, see that triangle, the way it slants in? It's really not as wide as it looks. The looks are very, very deceiving. 
So let's throw a build in here and see what we got. Now, the way I like to build this thing, I like to open up the terminals, right? I put my coil in there, and I kind of place my coil right at the end of that triangle. That's really where I want to be. Like, I kind of, like, put it right there, okay? And don't worry about the placement for now. We're going to fix that. Same thing on the other side. I hold that coil in place, and I just slip my lead in, my leads in, and I just put that coil right there, just like that. Once I've got them placed, I hold them down, and then I get my driver in there, and I just give it a nice, quick tightening. By the way, that hex screw in there, that is a 1.5 millimeter hex. Same thing on the other side. Now, you would think it's kind of tough to go after your leads when you got to cut them on this one, but it's really not that bad. Of course, we'll always go after the easy ones first. This one looks rather easy right here. So we're going to give it a snip. Same thing over here. We'll bend it out of the way a little bit. This one looks kind of easy. And now we can take our coiling rod and lift the coils out of the way and kind of get at our other leads. See, that one's a little tough to get to. But we'll get in there. Get in there just like that. Okay, so now we're good on this side. Now we got to get to the other interior one. Now all our leads are clipped, and we're going to straighten out those coils. Okay, now you take your coiling rod, put it in there, and get those coils right above that airflow, just like that. Same thing on the other side. Get in there. See that right there, how it's sitting right above that airflow? That's how you want it. That's how you want it on that side. All right, let's see what we're oming out at. 0.15 that's probably going to change a little bit let's pulse these coils and see what we got there we go now it looks good we're oming out at 0.21 get it nice and pointy on one end and just slide it right through just like that now on this one you want to cut it right about where the hole for the wicking ends on the bottom right about there Give it a nice little twist, do the same thing on the other side, get it nice and tight in there, just like that. You can use your other side as a guide, right there. And now on this side, we're going to do the same thing, we're going to cut it right there, and right there. Now you want to take your wicking tool, and just give it a gentle tuck in there, man. Don't stuff it in there, nice and easy. Same thing on the other side. Once you're done wicking, your atomizer should look something like this. Just want to make sure you paint that coil, get that cotton started. Same thing on the other side, get that cotton all nice and juicy. Once you're all juiced up, take your base, pop it in there, give it a little reverse thread so it catches, and then just tighten it down. Now we can just take our bottle and just dump the juice in. Nice and easy. So we fill it all the way up and there we go now we're all filled up take our top cap pop it on and we're ready to vape all right insiders let's get into it let's get into the cons and the pros first con is going to be that price point it's a little on the steep side but make sure you use your google foo and shop around because i've definitely been seeing it come down in price at other sites. Another con is it's only available in black and stainless steel. Some people like other colors. You guys know I always point this out. I don't like decks where I gotta share lead space. This is one of those types of decks. We're gonna give it a con for that. The posts on this deck are very wide. I gotta give them a con for that because some people are not gonna like having to add wraps to their coils, but that's a very subjective con. That stainless steel drip tip is definitely gonna bother some people. I'm giving them a con for that, but again, very subjective. 30 millimeter atomizers, they're not going to look good on all mods, but then again, you know that going in. I just got to point it out for the people that might not know better. Let's move on to the pros, because there are some pros on this one. First pro is going to be, and it just jumps out at you when you put this thing in your hand, the machining on it is top notch. I love the mill work they did on the top cap. Absolutely phenomenal. It's got the ability to be configured in different sizes. I love it. That's a pro. Buttery. 
I mean like on a roll, buttery smooth threading. It's got plenty of airflow. You airflow hogs are gonna love it. This one is a cloud chucka, that is for sure. It's also got really good flavor. You can put some really big, beefy builds in it. That's a pro. Pretty easy to build and wick. I like that. And the overall build quality on this is just phenomenal. I gotta give them a pro for that as well. So back to our original question, is it worth the price of admission? Is it worth it to buy a tank like this at this price point? I gotta tell you, no jokes aside, if you can find it, and if you can find it at a great price, definitely go pick one up. This one is definitely worth it. You're getting some real quality machining. I mean, you can just feel it when you put it in your hand. It's just a nice, big, chunky piece of stainless steel. The machining that you get on this atomizer is where that price point is coming into play. That is definitely what you're paying for. This is an atomizer that's gonna last. It might be made in China, but let me tell you something. The quality on it is definitely there. Don't forget, head on over to our Facebook group. Join up right now and you'll have a chance to win a $100 coupon from Vape Wild. And that's it, insiders. That's all we got for you today. You keep living that vape life. We'll see you on the next one. Deuces. What's up, insiders? Deuces Jack with VapingInsider.com. Today, we're going to go over the top 10 best vape tanks on the market as of April 2019. 